Oh Lord, today we are thanking you for your everlasting love and your enduring faithfulness. Lord, we thank you for our lives and for all you do and for all you are to us, Lord God. We're reading through Psalm 92. It reads, It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night, on an instrument of ten strings, on the lute and on the harp, with harmonious sound. For you, Lord, have made me glad through your work. I will triumph in the works of your hands. O Lord, how great are your works! Your thoughts are very deep. A senseless man does not know, nor does a fool understand this. When the wicked spring up like grass, and when all the workers of iniquity flourish, it is that they may be destroyed forever. But you, Lord, are on high forevermore. For behold, your enemies, O Lord, for behold, your enemies shall perish. All the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. But my horn you have exalted, a wild ox. I have been anointed with fresh oil. My eye also has seen my desire on my enemies. My ears hear my desire on the wicked who rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bear fruit in old age. They shall be fresh and flourishing to declare that the Lord is upright. He is my rock, and there is no unrighteousness in him. Lord, we thank you for this wonderful scripture. Lord, this wonderful revelation of who you are. Lord, this wonderful revelation, Lord God, that you are our rock, Lord, and that there's no unrighteousness in you, Lord God. Lord, that we flourish in your courts, Lord, because you've enabled us to, Lord God, and because you empower us daily to do so. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you're calling us as your righteous to flourish like palm trees, Lord God, to flourish and to grow like cedars in Lebanon. Thank you, Lord, that you've called us to be planted in your house, Lord, and as we worship you, as we pray each day, Lord God, and come before you in quiet supplication and reflection on your goodness, Lord, and on your faithfulness to us through the ages, through the generations, through our ancestral line. Lord, we just give you thanks. We give you the honour. We give you the glory. And Lord, we just pray, Lord, that today, Lord, that you would move in our hearts, in our minds, Lord God. Lord, that we would experience you in new and fresh ways. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that we are called to declare your loving kindness every morning and your faithfulness every night. Lord, let us never grow weary of doing that. Lord, let us come to you, Lord, just in the same way, Lord, that we desire food every day, Lord. We desire sleep every day. Lord, let us desire prayer every day. How can we not commune with our Father who is in heaven? Hallowed be your name, Lord God. How can we not want to commune with you? Lord, help us to have that daily discipline, that daily desire to run after you, to seek after your word, to focus on your loving kindness, Lord, to worship you with harmonious sounds, Lord God. Lord, we truly thank you, Lord, that you bless us. You bless us. You bless those who know you. Lord, we thank you for that. Lord, thank you, Lord, that you are pouring out a fresh anointing today with your fresh oil over all your believers, Lord, over every single person who is praying diligently, daily, in the morning, in the night, throughout the day, who is seeking you, Lord God. Lord, you said you'd pour out fresh oil on your anointed. And Lord, as your anointed, we stand here, Lord, and we receive that fresh oil today. Lord, would you pour that fresh oil all over us, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the fresh oil that you're pouring out. Thank you for the fresh anointing that you're stirring up in our hearts. Lord, help us to be sensitive to you. Help us to be sensitive to you, Lord God. Lord, we know that we're called to be flourishing. Lord, we're called to be fresh. But we know we can only be fresh and flourishing when we operate in the anointing that you alone can give us, Lord. Lord, so help us, Lord, help everything we set our minds and our hearts to, to flourish, as long as it's in line with your will. And Lord, we also pray, Lord, that you would help us to bear fruit, Lord God. Lord, everything, Lord God, everything we do, Lord God, may we blossom, Lord God. 
everything that we do? Would we blossom, Lord? Would we be fresh and flourishing? Would we bear much fruit, Lord God? Lord, would we be those that people look at and say, wow, what is it about you? Why is it everything you seem to do seems to prosper, seems to work? And Lord, we'd always point to you, Lord, because we thank you, Lord, that we are your righteous and we stand on your word. So Lord, I pray for everybody today. Lord, I pray for everybody on this prayer video who's watching this, praying with this video and doing this diligently, Lord, that you would pour out your anointing, you would pour out your blessing over their lives, Lord God, that they would be truly blown away by how you are causing them to be fresh and flourishing and to walk in the anointing that you alone can give them. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen.